student last day we have seen that what is irrational number rational number how to represent irrational number on a number line then how to express a recurring decimal in the form p by q the number of uh, rational number between two irrational number now today we will see the laws of exponent which is very very important in uh, in day to day life because you see if we find the area of a any figure then we used to write centimeter square meter square kilometer square if we are finding the volume of a container we are giving centimeter cube meter cube so that means what actually knowingly or unknowingly we are using this one so now laws of exponent you got in class 8 as well it is not a new one this is the second year you are getting so laws of exponent means if same thing if you multiply two or more times that can be expressed in the form as a power of the number which is multiplied power of the number which is to be multiplied you got an identity formula that is a plus b a plus b and then what is that a plus b whole square you got multiple of 2 you got multiple of 3 you got suppose if i say multiple of 2 4 means what 2 into 2 that is 2 square if i write 9 3 into 3 equal to 3 square that means the number which is to be multiplied you have to see how many times you multiply and that number of times will be raised to the power base raised to the power base now base means which you are multiplying which you are multiplying a plus b and a plus b these two same number it should not be different number same number if different number it will remain same suppose if a into b then a b there is no change there is no power at all so but here you see a plus b into a plus b both are same so then a plus b whole square similarly 4 equal to 2 into 2 equal to 2 square last year you got cube root cube and cube root uh, square and square root so all these uh, so cube see a into a into a equal to what a cube that means in simple term exponent means number of times a number to be multiplied by itself number of times a number to be multiplied by itself is known as exponent so this is the exponent this is the how many times one two three so base to the power three and uh, which is multiplying that is called base which is multiplying that is called base clear now let's see i told already we are using in uh, uh, volume we are using in area we are using in square, square then we are using in cube. so so many places we are using that okay so just suppose i have shown only three times two times now if it is more than that let's see what happened a into a into a into dot dot up to n times then one more see now this one when it will be converted then what is that see how many times? 1, 2, 3. So, a to the power 3. So, how many times? n times. 
So a to the power n. Okay? Now this itself can be expressed this way as well. See, how can you express? See, instead of that, we can express a to the power 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus up to n times c. This is the change. This is the change. Last time it was times. Now when you are adding, it is times. So this one means multiplied. This one means adding. Times, 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 times. So please be careful for this thing. Okay. See here you see, uh, here also, one, two, three, one, one, nothing is there means power is one, one plus one, two, two plus one, three. Here also, nothing is there means one, then one, one plus one, two. Here, four equal to two into two, one plus one, two. So here also same, one plus one plus one plus one plus dot dot up to n times. Means what? Equal to a to the power n. Clear? Now, last year you got, now see, terms what is written, laws of exponent. So based on this power, based on the power of this, there is certain laws are there. Just like identity formula, a plus b whole square, a minus b whole square, uh, then a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square, same here also some formula is there. And that's the reason it is known as laws of exponent. Remember, this is very, very important. Though in the book, or whatever question given, you have to do much more than that. Okay? And then let's see. Even try one time before I start. Even try by yourself that how many laws you remember. Just you try before I write. First one. First one. What is that? A to the power m into A to the power n. What is that? m plus n. Already I have shown that A into A into A up to up to 10 times equal to what? a to the power 10. So plus, when you are multiplying, power will be added. So a to the power, base are remain same, base are same. Now some of you may say, if these two are different, then what will happen? Let's see. a to the power m into b to the power n. Then it will be this one. Provided, now if you say, no, that uh, here it is uh, a to the power n, here it will be b to the power n, then there will be no change. Either of the two, a, a one should be same, either base should be same or power should be same. Here base was same, that means a to the power m plus n, where uh, power was same, so that's why a, b to the power m. Next one. a to the power m and a to the power n. When you divide, division means what? Subtraction, repeated subtraction. So, it will be a to the power m minus n. Then let's see next one. Just like this one, then see this one. a to the power m divided by b to the power m. Then what is that? a b to the power m. Same, okay? The next one. 5. See, what is the reciprocal? Reciprocal means inverse. If it is 2, then reciprocal will be 1 by 2. If it is 3 by 2, then it will be 2 by 3. Yes or not? 
Now, just you see, that means it is reverse. That means what? Actually, this is equal to equal to 2, 3 by 2 to the power minus 1. If I do that part negative, then only it will convert into this. Otherwise not. So, a to the power n equal to 1 by a to the power minus n. If power is negative, if power is negative, it will be reciprocal. If power is positive, but you want to make a fraction, you want to rewrite in, uh, as a, in the form of a fraction or in the form of a reciprocal, then power will be negative. Just as for example, one more I'll give. Suppose uh, a by c to the power n. What we can write is equal to C, C by A to the power minus N. C by A to the power minus N. Here also say, you see 1, anything to the power 1 is remain 1. So 1 by A to the power minus 1. But generally we used to write this. Okay, so this is the one. And that last, uh, that is the most important part that A to the power 0 equal to 1. Anything to the power 0 is 1. Anything to the power 0 is 1. Just you see, 100 to the power 0 equal to 1. Uh, equal to 99 to the power 0 equal to 1. So, anything to the power 0 is 1. So, once again, please repeat. a to the power m into a to the power n equal to a to the power m plus n. Then, now, next, I have to uh, change the base, but uh, I make the power as same. So, a to the power m into b to the power m equal to a b to the power m. a to the power m divided by a to the power m, repeated subtraction, this is repeated addition. So, that's why plus, that's why minus, a to the power m minus 1, a n. Then, a to the power m, just like this, uh, number 2 and number 4. Uh, see, a to the power m into b to the power m, here a to the power m divided by b to the power m, or it will be a by b to the power m. Then 5, a to the power n equal to 1 by a to the power minus n, most important, then a to the power 0 equal to 1, that is anything to the power 0 is 1, anything to the power 0 is 100 to the power 0 is 1, 999 to the power 0 is 1. Okay? Clear? So, <clears throat> these are the these are known as laws of exponent. These all together are known as laws of exponent. Okay? Clear? So, here may be one more question. There may be two more questions. There may be three more questions. There may be four more questions. But very, very important exercise. Please be careful. Very, very important exercise. Okay? Okay, then let's see next. Under this, let us do some question. See, in uh, class 8, you have done square root cube root, okay? So square root is for what? A to the body if I say a root A. That means what? A to the power half. Now, if I say that 125 to the power 2 by 3 means what? 125 we factorize. 125, 5, 25, 5, 5. So equal to 5 cube, 1, 2, 3. 2 by 3, 3, 3 cancel, 5 square equal to 25. Okay, next let's see. Suppose 32 to the power minus 1 by 4. Okay, then what will happen? 32. 32 to 
16, 2, 8, 2, 4, 2, 2. So what is that? 2 to the power 5 to the power minus 1 by 4 equal to 2 to the power minus 5 by 4. If I ask you, make it positive power, make it positive power. That means from negative, you convert it into positive power. Already I told, what will be that? 1 by 2 to the power 4 by 5. 1 by 2 to the power 4 by 5. Will it be 4 by 5? Because two things you cannot do. Here already sign changed. Here already sign changed. So two things you cannot do. Can you do two things? Cannot. So it will be not 4 by 5. It will be 5 by 4 only. 5 by 4 only. Clear? Is it clear? Because already you have converted. Already you have converted. Or you can write this way. 2 to the power. 2 to the power. How can you write? So see. If you raise this one. It will be minus. So if you want to put. Then you do this way. So that's the reason. Minus 5 by 4. You can write. Equal to 1 by 2 to the power. Okay, clear? So, this one, and then I have shown how to do this one. Okay, clear? Okay, the next, let's see, next one is, uh, <clears throat> next, let's see, <clears throat> Suppose if I ask you <coughs> 625 to the power 3 by 4, evaluate the value, then what do you do? 5 to the power 4, you just factorize, then by 4, 4, 4, call, 5 to the power 2 in the exponential form. If exponential one, then this one. If they will ask, evaluate, then you have to write equal to 1, 2, 5. Okay. Then uh, another one is that, suppose uh, 3 to the power 2 by 3 into 3 to the power 1 by 3. What it will be? 3 to the power 2 by 3. What is that? 3 by 3 equal to 3. So power will be added. Else is 3. 3. So 2 plus 1, 3 is going to do 3 by 3 cancel. So it will be 3 by 3 cancel. 3 by 3 cancel. So 3 to the power 1. Okay. So that means you have to take first you have to add the power, then you take the LCM, then calculate, and then whatever answer you get. Now Let's see next one. One one by five to the power four to the power seven. What will you do? One by five to the power four into seven equal to one by five to the power twenty-eight. If I ask you make it quite a negative exponent. 5 to the power minus 28. 5 to the power minus 28. Done? Okay. Now these are actually related to maybe one mark or two mark. But from here is most important thing is that you see here the related to these there will be some more important questions are there. Some important questions say Suppose, if I ask you, A equal to 1 by 2 plus u3, B equal to 1 by 2 minus u3. Number 1, find A plus B. 
Number two, we'll give here only. Number two, a square plus b square. Number three, a b. Number four, one by a plus one by b. Okay. So let's see, we'll do one by one. Okay. Raduman one. Raduman one, what is that? A plus B. Now A plus B, we can directly write 1 by 2 plus root 3 plus 1 by 2 minus root 3. Or, first we can do the rationalization. Let's see. A equal to 1 by 2 plus root 3. Rationalization last day, last video I have shown how to do the rationalization. So 2 minus root 3, 2 plus root 3, then 2 minus root 3, then what is that? 2 minus root 3, 2 square minus root 3 square. So ultimately what is that? 2 minus root 3, 4 minus 3 equal to 2 minus root 3. So that means a plus, it is coming minus. So then we can write down this way. 2 minus root 3 and this will be what? A plus then minus then minus plus 2 plus root 3 equal to 4. Got it? The next one, see. Next one, Roman 2. Roman 2, a square plus b square. Now, can you write this way? Minus 2ab. Can you write? See, if you break up this one, what will you get? You will get s, s square plus 2ab plus b square. s square plus 2ab plus b square. But whether 2ab is here in the given uh, expression, not there. That's the reason minus 2ab. So, after calculation, we'll get back the same thing again. So, that is the most important point you have to remember. So, then, it's already got this one. So, what is that? Otherwise, you can write also. Uh, what is that? Minus root 3 plus 2 minus root 3 plus root 3 whole square. And then, 2, 2 plus root 3, 2 minus root 3. Then what is that? See root 3 is to cancel. 4 square. 2 into 2 square minus root 3 whole square. So ultimately 16 minus 2 into 1. Ultimately 14. This is the second one. So what we have done? See 2 square is 4. Root 3 whole square is 3. 4 minus 3, 1. So that's why 1. 2 into 1 is 2, 14 minus 2 equal to 14. Clear? Next. Next. So, now, next, Roman 3 only I have shown. Roman 3 knowledge. Then, Roman 4. Roman 4, you see. Roman 3 already I have shown. Because this is a B already there. So what will be the answer? The answer will be 1. Then 1 by A plus 1 by B. Now what did you do? Do you need to uh, to do the rationalization? Not need a 1 by A. It is A. If you bring down, then what is that? 2 plus root 3. And then similarly, if 2, see here you see, implies 2 minus root 3 equal to 1 by b. So, 2 minus root 3. So, gone. So, 4. That means a plus b, whatever value is there, the a is same as 1 by a plus 1 by b. 1 by a plus 1 by b. Clear? So, these are the most important part. These are the most important part, okay? 
in the perspective of the exam, board exam and all, which is very, very important, okay? So please go through that, okay? Then, then uh, one more, and then we'll wind up. One more question, we'll see. See, A equal to root 3, 2 plus root 3. Find, find A plus 1 by A. So what? 1 by A equal to 1 by 2 plus root 3. Then you have to do the isolation, isolation. Then it will be 2 minus root 3. So see, 2 plus root 3 plus 2 minus root 3. Gone. So you do one more question and then we will wind up. Okay? So see, um, 1 by a, so 1 by a is the proper, 1 by a. 2 plus root 3, then this part I have not done, this part not done, you have to do the estimation, you have to do the calculation, and then you will get 2 minus root 3. So a plus root 3, a, a equal to 2 plus root 3, then 1 by a equal to 2 minus root 3, so root 3, root 3 cancel, 2 plus root 3 is 4. One more. See, a plus b root 3 equal to equal to 1 by 2 plus root 3 find a and b find a and b what do you do a plus b root 3 equal to 2 minus root 3 2 plus root 3 you have to do the rationalization okay then a plus b root 3 equal to 2 minus root 3 2 square minus root 3 whole square then what is that a plus b root 3 equal to so what is that 2 minus root 3 4 minus 3 so ultimately a plus b root 3 equal to 2 minus root 3 now you calculate real number real number rational number rational number rational number, rational number, rational number. so a equal to 2 and b equal to minus 1. a equal to 2, b equal to minus 1. So, my dear student, just you see that uh, this type of question, if it will come, it will be 2 marks or 3 marks. What you have to do? First, you have to do the explanation. Then, after the explanation, you can do the calculation and all. And then, you compare with the rational part, rational part, irrational part, irrational part. You see, root 3, root 3, root 3 gone, so what is that? B, here, nothing is, uh, root 3 gone, nothing is that means what? Minus 1, so B equal to minus 1, A equal to 2. And with that, we'll wind up for today, and then next day, we'll proceed with uh, some more extra question, and then we'll see the polynomial, so my request is that, you please go through the polynomial chapter, okay? Till then, bye-bye, thank you.